today's lecture we will study the trick for finding the square roots of a number by vedic match method so let us start finding the square root of a number is divided into two different groups that is finding the square root of a perfect square numbers and finding the square root of a non perfect square number if you want to find the square root of a perfect square number one different method is there and if you want to find out the square root of a non perfect numbers the different method is there so what is perfect square number and what is non perfect square number if you take 9 9 is the perfect square number that is it is a perfect square of a 3 whereas a 10 is a non perfect number we cannot easily find the square root of 10 so it requires some different method so we will study both these methods one by one so let us start the first method that is finding the square root of a perfect square number let us first observe the last digits in the squares of 1 to 9 numbers just observe these numbers square of 1 is 1 square of 2 is 4 square of 3 is 9 square of 4 is 16 square of 5 is 25 square of 6 is 36 square of 7 is 49 square of 8 is 64 and square of 9 is 81 so what you observe the last digits observe the last digits of square one is in the last digit in case of a squares of 1 as well as 9 square of 1 is 1 and square of 9 is 81 4 is the last digit in case of 2 and 8 5 is the last digit in case of 5 6 is the last digit in case of a squares of 4 and 6 9 is the last digit in case of squares of 3 as well as 7 so this table you have to remember in your mind and squares of numbers from 1 to 9 if you are knowing then you can easily find the square of perfect square numbers isn't it so remember this table forever next let us take one example i have written those squares and last digits in the right corner so let us start with first example if you want to find the square root of 2304 square root of a number 2304 so how to find it first make the group of last two digits of that number that is 04 is at the last therefore i have made one group of these two digit 04 and whatever remaining digits are there make another group of those numbers that is 23 is remained here so that is the second group our first group is 04 so observe the first group last digit last digit of the first group last digit of first group is 4 and if 4 is the last digit observe that in whose square 4 is the last digit so 4 is the last digit in square of 2 and 8 so you have to write there as 2 or 8 2 or 8 in numbers 2 or 8 last digit is 4 therefore in our answer also the unit place will be either 2 or 8 now how to select that unit place exactly either 2 or 8 that i will tell you further next so this is first we have identified that unit place will be either 2 or 8 of this square root of 2 3 0 so next step is observing the second group in second group second group is number 23 so observe that in whose square 23 is lying so 23 is lying between the square of 4 and square of 5 observe here 23 is lying between square of 4 and square of 5 square of 4 is 16 square of 5 is 25 so 23 is lying between 16 and 25 therefore this 23 is lying between 4 and 5 so from that 4 and 5 we have to select 4 that is the minimum value from 4 and 5 always we have to select as a 10th place of our answer so 4 is selected as a 10th place of our answer but we don't know the unit place of our answer so for that purpose we will do one more calculation that is we will multiply 2 4 by 
that is 10th place we have identified is it must be 4 so 4 into 5 next digit of 4 that is 5 4 into 5 is 20 now check whatever multiplication you have got that is 20 whether it is less than 23 or more than 23 that is the first group you have to compare this 20 with the first group first group is 23 so compare 20 and 23 you have got that 23 is more than 20 therefore select the larger digit from 2 and 8 so what is larger digit 2 or 8 8 is the larger digit therefore I have selected it as a unit place of answer therefore answer of this question that is square root of 2304 will be 48 tenth digit will be my 4 and unit digit of answer will be 8 so 48 is square root of 2304 understand the method once you understand the method you can easily find or easily solve the square root of any number any number which must be a perfect square number let us try with another example so try to find out the square root of 4489 in the square root of 4489 group one group I have made of 89 another group of 44 so 89 I have to check the last digit of 89 that is 9 it is in whose square it is in the square of 3 or 7 therefore my unit place will be 3 or 7 now consider the next group that is 44 observe that this 44 is lying between which two squares 44 is lying between 36 and 49 so either 6 or 7 from that which value I will select I will select always the minimum value that is 6 I will select my 10th place therefore in our in my answer 6 will be there so next next step is to select the unit place how to select unit place by doing one simple calculation that is multiply to 6 by its next consecutive value that is 6 into 7 it will be 42 compare 42 with the first group that is 44 comparing that I have got that 44 is more than 42 therefore I will select a larger value from 3 or 7 so my unit plus will be 7 so final answer is coming as a 67 6 will be my 10th plus and 7 will be my unit plus therefore square root of 4489 will be 67 so how it is mice yes try it at home do with try or play with more examples so that you will be habituated to that let's try one more example that is to find out the square root of 1156 so procedure again same make the two groups from that 56 is one group end digit is 6 therefore 6 is at the end of which two squares that is 4 and 6 or 4 or 6 so I have written 4 or 6 so next group that is 11 it is lying in between which two squares that is 3 and 4 3 and 4 so from that I have to select always as a minimum that is 3 I have selected 3 next unit place I have to select for that I have to do one small calculation that is 3 into 4 12 it is more now in last example up to last example we have got 11 that is group in that square root is always more than this product but here that group is less than this product that is 11 is less than 12 so therefore we will select a smaller digit so 4 is smaller than 6 therefore unit plus will be 4 so therefore answer comes as a 34 therefore square root of 1156 will be 34 let's try one more example if you want to find the square root of a 729 so make the group of 29 so 29 last digit is 9 in wood square 9 is the last digit so it is in the square of 3 and 7 so right there as 3 and 7 so here on the second group that is 0 7 it is lying between the squares of 2 and 3 that is lying between 4 and 9 so minimum value I have selected that is a 2 and 
for selecting unit plus I have to do one calculation that is 2 into 3 6 so 6 is less than 7 therefore I will select a larger value so you have to check a group with that product if group is more you have to select larger value if group is less than this product you have to select lesser value so here group 07 is larger than this product 3, 2 into 3 6 therefore you will select larger digit that is 7 therefore my answer will be 27 square root of 729 is 27 so we will take one more example a little bit larger value we will take square root of 1 2 5 4 4 and now make the group of uh, two only two digits of right hand side so that is a 44 remaining group will be of in numbers one number two number or three numbers so here are uh, three digits are there 125 now observe that group of four two now digits that is 44 last digit is 4 it is in the squares of 2 and 8 observe now second group that is 125 125 is lying between the squares of squares of 11 and 12 so from that you have to select a minimum value that is 11 11 I have selected now to select the unit plus I have to multiply 11 by 12 I have got 132 which is more than this group that is 125 therefore I will sorry group is smaller than that product therefore I have to select a smaller value that is 2 from 2 or 8 I have to select a 2 therefore my answer will be 112 square root of 12544 will be 112 so like this if you are having any perfect square number you can easily find out the square root of that perfect square number by this way if you are knowing the last digit of which square number is there if you know this table you can easily find out the square root so find the answers and write in comment box for these questions i have given these questions for your homework do it and write the comment sorry write the answers in comment box next so thank you very much for patient listening and uh, if any doubt or query is there write in the comment box thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel to get uh, further videos further next video will be on the cube and cube roots so stay tuned with street tech education thank you very